So a lot of the problems that people have when they're doing Pilates classes is they're not breathing in the right position or even worse, they're not breathing at all. So I just wanted to show you a couple of pointers so you've got a couple of things that you can practice in your own time, learn how to breathe correctly and understand where you're supposed to be sending your breath through an exercise. So if we have a bit of a look at Sylvia, generally what we want in Pilates is for people to be breathing into the side of their ribcage. So as Sylvia takes a breath, you can see my hands open up and as she breathes out, they come closer together. That's perfect Pilates breathing and perfect postural breathing. Unfortunately, what often happens, if you just turn on your side for me, Sylvia, is that a lot of the time people are breathing into the top of their chest. And you can see that when Sylvia does this, it changes the whole curve of her spine. And it also means that she has to use a whole lot more neck muscles, which is not really effective for efficiency of movement. So if you're starting to learn in your own body how you want to, how you can send air into the right parts of your lungs, it's often a nice idea to either, as I did before with Sylvia, have a hold of the side of your ribcage yourself so that you can feel as you breathe in, you want to try and send air into the sides of your ribcage. Or if that doesn't work for you, and sometimes everybody's arm length is different and it's just not comfortable, you can grab a dressing gown cord or a TheraBand and pop it just around the side of your ribcage. Pop a little knot in it at the back. And you can go about doing your Pilates exercises with this feedback of the TheraBand so that it reminds your body as you breathe in, you want to be sending air into the side of the TheraBand. 